How's it going everyone? Jake XVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. We're going to be doing a little bit of an experimental video today. We're going to try to find or try to do one of the fastest 0 to 60 times ever. We're basically going to jump into some of the fastest cars in the game, give them drag tyres, all wheel drive, everything we can think of to see what kind of 0 to 60 miles an hour time that we can get. And hopefully we get one that's maybe below a second. That would be pretty cool. Just a quick thing I'm going to say before we get into the cars and the upgrades that I'm going to do. The 0 to 60 time that it says on the tuning menu is not what it can do in the actual game. And we're going to do it purely off what we can achieve in the game. So for example, the Dodge Demon, it says it can do 0 to 60 in 0 0.7 seconds on the tuning menu. However, in the game, you can never actually achieve that. So what we're doing today is finding the actual car that it can actually do the fastest 0 to 60 time. No engine swaps allowed stock engines there's a few cars i have in mind i have the bmw i setter in mind because that thing is surprisingly fast off the line i want to do the hot wheels twin mill because that was pretty insane at back on forza horizon 3 i want to do the dodge demon and other bits and bobs like that i think the porsche 918 might be decent to try as well but we're essentially we're going to see what 0 to 60 miles an hour time we can get see how insane and how fast we can get this maybe even a world record i don't know so I'm going to favourite some of the cars that we are going to use. We're going to use the Porsche 918. I think this might be pretty good as well, the Porsche 917. That could be pretty good. Um, we don't want the PLP 50, so I'll unfavourite of that. The Hot Wheels Twin Mill, as I said. Wow, that has a lot of torque. I didn't realise that. I uh, don't actually have the Dodge Demon, so I'll have to quickly go and buy one of those. I know how to unlock it as well, but I don't want to have to do it because it, it, it takes a little while. Okay, we'll leave the demon for now. We'll try the other Hellcat. The We'll try this one, because this one may be close enough to it, I guess. So what cars do we have? We have the Assetto, which can be surprisingly fast off the line. The Charger, the 918 Spy, the 917, the, uh, the Hot Wheels. Good. Let's do some tuning. Now, I'm not the best at tuning. I know a lot about the upgrades and stuff like that, but the tuning, other than like giving a car a nice top speed, I'm not usually too sure what to do. So I'm going to try my best. I believe all-wheel drive is going to be best for off the line as well. We're going to want, I'd say, quite a lot of power, but not too much. I don't know if I'm wrong or if I'm right with that. Um, we're obviously going to have drag tyres because we're going to be doing this on the runway. And I believe, oh, we don't need to upgrade the transmission. I believe we can already do that. And I guess everything else is just fully upgraded. I think we'll slam it close to the ground because that might help. Oh, no, never mind. We can't. I did not know that you could get nearly 1,500 horsepower in the Porsche 918. So, we're going to use these for now, see what we can do. I've been wanting to do this video for a little while now, but I've wanted to do it in spring or summer, not icy conditions, because <laughs> it's been winter for the past week, so not good. Here we go. So, hmm, that didn't seem very fast, that. It's got it's got the pickup off the line, but it's not got the horsepower and the speed. Although the demon might be different, that one is definitely off the table. Let's try the twin mill. Right, this oh oh wow that picked up a bit. Oh my word! The twin mill's. Definitely the best so far. That adds some proper pickup. Oh. Oh, wow. That doesn't even seem like a second. Now, for some reason, it's not letting me do launch control, but I can sort of wait until it rev limiters down to about 2,000 and then set off. That is unbelievable. That is an insanely fast 0 to 60 time. Let's 
Let's try and do it again. Here we go. Oh, wow. Wow, that is impressive. Oh, I was going to try not to 100 then, but that doesn't seem very fast. Not to 60, however. Whew. Oh, that's impressive. Oh, I th the trouble is, because it revs so high, it bounces off the limiter. And as soon as it bounces off the limiter, it, it decreases the speed a little bit. So I, can't, I need to launch like I was earlier. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. We need to time that. Not to 60 in 0 0.7 seconds. Wow. Let's launch from 5,000. Still doesn't seem very fast, but for 0 to 60, that was monstrous. Right, let's try the Porsche. I'm not sure how much better this one's going to be, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Okay, we're in this beast now, the Porsche 917. Wow. Okay then. It does 100 miles an hour in first gear. I don't know if that's going to be good or not. We should probably, yeah, we should probably push that down a wee bit. One. So we can get this down to 0 0.9 by the looks of it. Which is impressive. Let's give it a gander, shall we? Yeah, it wheel spins a bit too much, doesn't it? That seemed fast. Hang on, let me try it again. Yeah, it accelerates pretty fast, but when I redline, it ruins it. So I need to kind of do it without redlining. I suppose the rain's not helping, really. Oh, that has got to be my best so far. I'm sure you'll see on screen what it is. Let me see if I can time it vaguely. Zero. One. It's just over a second. Let's try the Porsche 918. See if that's any better. I wouldn't think it'd be, but we'll see. I think we need to wait for the rain to go away now by the looks of it. Track's still a wee bit wet, but we'll cope. We'll cope. Wow. Hang on a minute. Holy cow, the Porsche 918 is also extremely fast. Hold your horses, piggy. I still don't know if it beats the twin mill, though. I don't believe it does. Oh my god. Is that the fastest? I, I don't know if that beats a twin mill. We'll see on screen in a minute. And I'm, I'm going to edit this video and see what the results are. And then we'll, uh, we'll come back. But this... Right guys, I kept trying and trying and trying with a Porsche 918. But I could not get a time under 1.234 seconds. So I started to try a load of different cars as well. I tried this Aventador Forza Edition. The Aventador Forza Edition also was pulling 1.234 seconds on the dot. I just couldn't get under it. I tried all sorts. I tried the McLaren F1 GT. Uh, I got a hold of the Dodge Demon. That wasn't doing it either. However, I jumped back in the Porsche 918 and tried to do it in this. And in the Porsche 918, I got a time of 1.2 dead. Lots of you should know that the 0-60 time that's shown on the tuning isn't accurate to what you can actually pull off in-game. Um, the twin mill says 0 0.7 seconds, but you can't actually get that in the twin mill. The Porsche 918 says 0 0.9, and after all the cars I tried, the Porsche 918 is the fastest 0 to 60 car that I can do and perform. And I pulled off 1.201 seconds.
I tried the Dodge Demon, I tried the TVR drag car, I tried the McLaren F1 GT, I tried the Dodge Dart, the Aventador Forza Edition, the Twin Mill, the Bone Shaker, and all of them would not get under 1.201 seconds, not to 60 times. Bear in mind that all of these cars are stock engines, so the real life engine that's in it would not engine swap any cars at all. So yeah guys, I really did try this for quite a while, I tried so many different cars, I it took me ages to get a Dodge Demon from the auction house. But even that, although it says it's got a 0 0.7 not to 16 in the tuning, it still wouldn't do it on the drag strip. The Porsche 918, for some reason, is the best that I can do. So please, try this out yourself. Get Sony Vegas, get a timer, and accurately time each one of your 0 to 60 times, and tell me what's the fastest you can get, if you can beat my 1.2, and if you can, make sure to send me it. I'm going to put the replay of my fastest time on the screen once again so you can see the 1.2 seconds to 0 to 60. Please let me know in the description below if you want me to do a 0 to 100. It'll take a little bit longer, but I'll do just as much grinding to get the fastest time for 0 to 100 miles an hour as well. That's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Go and have a go at this yourself and let me know if you want me to do a 0 to 100 as well. I'm sure there's going to be quite a lot of comments of people saying, I'll oh, try this, try that, try this car. You should have tried this. This is faster. Trust me, I've tried as much as I can think of. Feel free to leave your car suggestions, but I've tried as much as I can think of. Keep in mind, what it says on the tuning is not what it can do in the actual game, and that's what we've gone on today, the actual game. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all in the next video.